Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Story Time. Oh, I'm so excited for today. We've got some super fun books for everybody. And have y'all all been practicing our Ants Go Marching song? Yeah? Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Are you ready? All right, so let's wake up our beat. Beep, 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 beep. You ready? Let's go. Wake up, beat. Wake up, beat. Wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up hands, wake up hands. Wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up ears, wake up ears. Wake up ears and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Very good, everybody. Excellent job. All right, you ready, Mr. Monkey? I am ready. All right, so let's clap and sing hello to everybody, shall we? All right, let's go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stop and sing hello. We stop and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stop and sing hello. Very good, guys. All right, I don't know about you, but it's kind of cloudy this morning, just a little bit. And there's the answer to rain today, right? But I think I need a good stretch. So let's do it together, all right? Ready? We're just gonna take our hands and we're gonna reach up. Very good, guys. And now we're gonna come down. Ready? Very good. Now we're gonna reach this way. Ready? Reach to our right. Very good, guys. Okay. So, we have some really fun stories today, guys. But we are going to go ahead and start with an elephant and piggy book. We are growing. All right, guys. All right. So, Elephant and Piggy, We Are Growing by Lori Keller. Good. All right. So, let's see what kind of an adventure we have going on here, guys. You ready? Let's go. All right. Piggy, look at this new book. It is exciting as watching grass grow. Uh, because it is watching grass grow? Exciting! Let's read it! You have a new friend. Those words look so nice and neat. Boing! What was that? I think I just grew. Look. Wow. You did grow. Look at that. I just grew all by myself. Cool, huh? I know, I know. I made it look easy. But growing is hard work, in fact. Hey, I just grew! And please! We are all growing! You were growing tall. I am the tallest! He is the tallest. You are growing curly. 
I am the curliest. You were growing silly. I am the silliest. We are pointy. We are the pointiest. You are crunchy. I am the crunchiest. I am the dandiest. You are a dandy lion. A weed. Eh, I've been called worse. So what are you, Walt? Me? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not the tallest or the curliest or the silliest or the pointiest or the crunchiest or the dandiest. What am I? I do not know what I am. Good. It is okay. We will help you. I know you are, hmm, uh, never mind. Hey, uh, yes, bzz, bzz. maybe not, Girl, let me think. So what are you? Well, hurry up, Walt, tell us. Bzz, bzz. Come on, think, Walt, think, you can do it. Oh no! What a mess! I am not the curliest anymore. I am not the tallest anymore. We are not the anythingest anymore. Do not worry, you will grow again. We will? Yay! We will grow again, grow, grow, grow. Before we grow, let's clean this place up. Hey, I think I know what I am. I am neat. You are neat, you are neat. You are so neat, you are the neatest. I am the neatest. We are all somethingest. The book is the funniest. Yeah, I love to read. Me too. Do you know what makes that, what that makes us? Yep, we are the readiest. Wow, that was fun. I personally like to be in that category where I am the readiest. Alrighty, so, you ready to do a little rhyme? Yeah? Alright, let's go. You ready, guys? We're gonna do... That is right, Little Miss Muffet. Okay, guys? So, you ready? Let's go. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her, frightened Miss Muffet away. Good job, guys. All right, let's go a little bit faster. You ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her, frightened Miss Muffet away. One more time, guys. We're gonna go fast. You ready? 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 Let's go. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came her spider and sat down beside her, frightened Miss Muffet away. Very good, guys. Okay. So, talk about frightening, right? Okay. So, our next story is called... 
Oh, guys, I'm making the choice. I'm making the choice here. Got two different ones. And I think... I think we're going to go with my Monster Friends and Me. A big kid's guide to things that go bump in the night. Words by Annie Sirock. Pictures by Alice Brereton. And it is published by Sourcebooks Wonderland. All right. You ready, guys? Let's explore my monster friends and me. All right. When I was your age, I knew where to hide from my house. I had many dark monsters inside. Everywhere I looked, every corner and hall lurked creatures and beasts, furry, spiky, and tall. I shook and I trembled. I huddled in fright. I stared at the darkness till the wee morning light. I bet you have monsters just as scary and gross. Would you like to mean mine? Come along, but stay close. Dun, dun, dun. All right, guys, count them for me. See how many monsters you can find. All right, let's go. I've got a secret I think you should hear about all these monsters and the terrible fear. Now that I'm older, almost eight, you know, I'll share the truth that I learned long ago. The first scary monster on the other side of that fence made me shiver and cry and my muscles grow tense. With its deep, snarly howl and sharp teeth and nails, I'd catch me one day with its three slimy tails. But as I got older, I learned a new trick. If I named each monster, the fear didn't stick. Ooh, the deep, loud barking, the beast over that gate is just a darling little terrier, monster one, is called Kate. Watch out for the shadows and stay right by my side. My second monster appears as it gets dark outside. Because right on my heels and behind every chair was a spooky dark monster with wild tangled hair. What could it be, guys? Hmm? Those slinky, slippery shadows, and the one always at your feet, could be a new friend to play with, Monster 2, I named Pete. But there are other monsters lurking, even scarier still. Can you guess what they were? Can you feel the thrill? Monster 3 was banging outside in the night. It rumbled and roared a ferocious fright. A groan, oh, and a blast, and a crack, crack, crash. It came through the window with a bright, blinding flash. Oh my gosh, guys, what could that be? All that banging on your window and the rumbling, crackling den are just the clouds and raindrops dancing. Monster 3, I named Lynn. In the dark of the house was a monster so creepy. With such strange yellow eyes, I'd never feel sleepy. Monster 4 was in the closet or right behind that door. And sometimes I could hear it slithering on the floor. All the gloom in the cellar and the unknown in the dark is just the blanket of night. Monster 4, I named Clark. But there was another one lurking, even scarier still. Can you guess what it was? You know the drill. This fifth one was frightening. This fifth one was mean. This hideous monster was the worst that I've seen. 
There were sharp clawing sounds coming from under the bed. That's right, you guessed it. Monster 5, I named Ted. But here's that secret I want you to know. Through all of these monsters seem terrible foes. When you're huddled with your pillow, lean over and you'll see. It's not a monster under your bed, but what you imagine it could be. We all get scared of monsters. Yes, even I did, that's true. But now you have the secret that I've passed along to you. So when your monsters call and you start to feel afraid, remember this and just imagine they're new friends that you have made. Now go out there and spread the news of fears turned into friends. Name that monster, change that picture. You choose how the story ends. The end. Wow, that was a pretty cool story, wasn't it? Yes, all about our friend there, making things that he was afraid of, things that he was comfortable with, like a new friend, right? So even the crashing and the scratching and the clawing and things no longer made him afraid, did they? Nope. All right, guys. So, are you ready to dance a little with me? Yes? All right, then. Let's do our Ants Go Marching. How about it, guys? Yeah? Me too. And let's go. Ready, guys? Let's go. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, the little one stops to climb a tree, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah. Hurrah! The ants go marching six by six, the little one stops to pick up sticks, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, the little one stops to check the time, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten, the little one stops to say the end, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Great job, guys! All right, ready? Catch it. That was super fun. We have time for one more story, and it is called One, Two, Buckle My Shoe by Jane Cabrera. And it is published by Holiday House. All righty. Let's go, guys. All right. One, two, buckle my shoe. We're hiding on each page in this book. Four naughty little chicks. Take a look. All right, guys, let's take a look. You ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. So what's next? Three, four, run out the door. Okay, guys, let's find our chicks. You ready? Let's take a close look. All right, you ready to start counting with me? Let's go. One, two, three, four. We found all four of them. Five, six, 
do high kicks. Oh dear, you can still see me. Better hide. All right, guys, let's take a look. See if we can find our chicks. All right, guys, you ready? One. There we go. Two. Three. Four. All right, there. Good job. And there's four. What is that? One, two, three. Four. Very good, guys. Seven, eight. Jump over the gate. All right, guys. Let's take a close look. Where's our chicks? You ready to count with me, guys? All right, let's do it. One, two, three. Four. Very good, guys. Nine, ten. Big fat hen. Quick cuddle for mommy hen. Now let's go and hide again. All right. Ah, this one's pretty easy, guys. Ready? One, two, three, four. Eleven, twelve. Dig and delve. All right, guys. Take a look. All right. One, two, three, four. All the way to the pumpkin pet. Thirteen, fourteen, pigs a snorting. Is our food ready yet? Just a little bit longer, pet. All right. Let's take a look, guys. Ready to count? One, two, three, four. Very good. Fifteen, sixteen in the kitchen. All right, let's take a look. One, two, three, four. 17, 18, all awaiting. We're so hungry. What will the food be? I hope the dessert is just for me. All right, guys. Yeah, it was a pretty easy day. One, two, three, four. Good job. 19, 20. It's a party. So much fun. It was angry. But where, oh, where can those little chips be? All right, guys. Do you see them? I don't see them. Oh, wait, there we go. One, two, three, four. Rabbit says, close your eyes. Out pop chicks. What a funny surprise. All right, guys. Party fun and food a plenty. Now count the balloons from one to twenty. All right, guys, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent job, guys. Wow, that was fun. The chicks were hiding all over the place, weren't they? And then at the end, what did they do? Surprise! Right out of the cake, huh? All right, guys. Well, I've had so much fun with you today. Remember, parents, grandparents, guardians, caregivers, down below in the links, we'll have some fun new songs. Yep. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Bye.